everyone, it's Beverly Nina. Thank you so much for stopping by. I am so happy that you're here. If this is your first time on my channel, welcome. I hope that you stick to the very oh, I hope that you stick around to the very end and I hope that you click that subscribe button and hit the bell button so you're notified every single time that I upload. Okay, so I wanted to talk about temporary happiness. And the reason why I wanted to talk about this is because this is definitely something God is teaching me in this moment. I like making videos where I can talk from a position of where like God is like teaching me. I just feel like I can speak like freely and openly um, whenever it's stuff that like I'm currently going through. So I wanted to talk about temporary happiness and something that happened and where God had to like bring me back into the reality of his truth. Sometimes I go through like a little bit of depression um, and this will be something that I may talk about in the future. So some things that God has been showing me are little signs to be aware of before I enter into that depression state. And so what happens sometimes is that I get into the habit of just purchasing things like randomly, like just purchasing stuff. And I remember this was really bad when I was in college, my sophomore year of college. I like would online shop 24-7. I knew my card number by heart. and Sadly enough, I still know my card number by heart. What um, happened recently, um, this was like around Black Friday weekend, so I went on like three websites. I will let y'all know because, you know, I know us girls, we like to shop. It was a site called Fashion Nova, a site called Boohoo, and a site called Monotiques. And so I didn't originally plan on purchasing anything. I just wanted to you know, add things to my wish list and be like, okay, this is something I would want later, right? Um, I ended up purchasing stuff from each of those websites. So, like, it was just very compulsive. I didn't think it through. When I purchased them, I was so happy. I felt so excited of all the outfits I was gonna be able to put together. Like, everything was just so cute. I just couldn't wait to receive the package on my doorstep. I wanted it to reach my house right then. The following Monday, I started getting into really, really bad like uh, depression where I just was in my emotions, I was in my feelings, I was doing things and saying things to myself that weren't weren't the truth. I wasn't surrendering my thoughts and making them obedient to the word of God. Yeah, so I was so down that week and then um, Boohoo sent me a confirmation that my orders have been shipped, right? So I was like, ooh, it's gonna be lit. Ooh, it's gonna be lit. I'm gonna be popping, I'm gonna be popping. Yeah. But Fashion Nova and Site Monotiques had not sent me my stuff. They had not sent me my materials, my items. They did not ship. And so I was like, oh, where's my stuff? <laughs> what are you doing? I contacted them, like, and then that was that. But um, so the day when my boohoo had arrived, I was listening to worship music and I was like, God, like, I just feel so heavy in my spirit right now. I feel like I'm underneath water. There's a knock on the door. Um, I went downstairs and then it was my boohoo order. The package that I had, one of them was ripped open. The carrier said, oh, well, the package had ripped. Everything should be in there. Everything should be fine. But I had signed off on it. And I ticket my items upstairs and I told myself I wasn't gonna try on anything until I had my quiet time. Um, did that happen? No. I actually just like put a pause on my quiet time and I decided to go and try on the outfits. I opened up the first bag and then I opened up the second bag. The ba well, not really opened up because it's already torn open, but I started looking in the second bag, the one that was torn, and more than half of my items were missing. And I was confused and I was like wait holla 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 this carrier took my stuff it's Christmas time he trying to give him my stuff to his family <laughs> I contacted the USPS they said that um they would check the car I reached out to Boohoo and then Boohoo were like oh no okay we'll send you back the items we'll send you the items I wanted to talk about the moment when I received the package to the moment of my disappointment so the moment like of me and being my emotions and everything and feeling so like, the moment when I saw my packages my face lit up I felt excited I felt like I had joy right but it was like the temporary joy it wasn't the joy of the Lord um so up until the point when I saw that like my stuff was missing, that was when I was like furious. And in that moment, God was like, this is why I don't want you to place your hope and your joy and your happiness in temporary things. Because those things 
are going to disappoint you but i will give you everlasting peace everlasting love everlasting joy everlasting happiness that is when you take root in me and, and that's when i am on the throne of your heart but whenever you allow depression and anxiety and the things it is that you're going through to be on the throne of your heart that is when you find temporary happiness in things that i do not want you to find temporary happiness in and i was just like okay jesus just give me my stuff when that revelation came i've just felt like wow god like you are so awesome and you're so loving and i love the way that you humble me and i love the way that you teach me because he teaches from a position of love like i had no idea that i was placing you know shopping depression all that other stuff i didn't know that i was placing all that on the throne of my heart and so for god to reveal that to me it just made me feel so happy um, it makes me feel kind of sad right now because like you know i still struggle with you know depressive thoughts and stuff but god is so loving and I'm trying to keep positive and stay in the heart of of just his love and stay in the heart of, of everything uh, that he has for me. Just making sure that I am definitely in the light of his presence. That's something that he tells myself is stay in the light of his presence. Stay in the light of his presence. There's a verse in I believe Psalms where it talks about blessed are those who, who hear the call to worship for they walk in the light of uh, God's presence and so for me that's so encouraging hearing the call to worship and hearing the call to honor god and serve god and those people are those who walk in like true happiness where they walk in the light of the presence of the lord and so i wanted to take actually a moment to read this devotional that i had yeah I'll, so during this time there's a devotional that like really spoke to me and so it's in this jesus is calling book and i want to say thank you so much to my dear friend cynthia she actually just like gave me this book because I was looking for something new um, in my devotionals and so she had an extra one and she gave it to me so shout out to you boo I hope you watching this your needs and my riches are a perfect fit I never meant for you to be self-sufficient instead I designed you to need me not only for daily bread but also for fulfillment of deep yearnings I carefully crafted your longings and feelings of incompleteness to point you to me Therefore, do not try to bury or deny these feelings. Beware also of trying to pacify these longings with the lesser gods, people, possessions, and power. Come to me in all of your neediness, with defenses down with desire to be blessed. As you spend time in my presence, your deepest longings are fulfilled. Rejoice in your neediness, which enables you to find intimate completion in me. And the two verses that they have uh, down here are Philippians 4.19, which says, And my God will meet all your needs according to his glorious riches in Christ Jesus. And Colossians 2.2-3, 2, 2 it says, My purpose is that they may be encouraged in heart and, in, and united in love, so that they may have the full riches of complete understanding and order, that they may know the mystery of God, namely Christ, in whom are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. And I was like, wow, God, like that's super duper confirming of what you're teaching me in this season. So right now, I'm just trying not to let those things take root in my heart. All that stuff is trying to take the place of of Jesus, and that's not a good thing, right? So I wanted to encourage y'all with this word and encourage y'all um, through what I'm going through and encourage y'all um, to just take a look at your life and see if there's anything that's taking place of Jesus, is taking place of our Lord, to surrender that thing and allow God to take complete control of your life, allow God to be on the throne of your heart, and allow his love to just manifest through you and all that good stuff yeah so i hope that this video was encouraging to you and i hope that it was something that you needed boo yes i cannot wait to see you in my next video until then know that you're loved beautiful treasured and you are valued adios